with Chris. This is the owner of HP Racing, and he's local to Georgia, uh, specifically, you know, the northeast side of Georgia, around Athens, Winder area. And he's got a little speed shop that he opened up where he's doing lots and lots of, you know, car mods and installs, anything from basic bolt-ons, cold air intake, exhaust stuff, to putting on a supercharger. He's got a nasty, nasty uh, Pro Charger F1 unit on his Plymouth satellite right here that is completely built. Uh, we'll go through the car here in a minute. Um, but he's basically trying to get his shop out there, get some clients coming in. And basically guys, I get hammered, as you know, with lots of people asking me to do camshafts, um, mods for them around Georgia. And if I had the time, I would. Sometimes I help people out. But if I was gonna have somebody do anything for me, it would be Chris. Um, I've known Chris throughout the years. We both went to some of the same schools. Uh, we're both in small engine trade, and I've seen him at a lot of these local schools. We've kept up with each other. This is a stand-up good guy that doesn't half-ass stuff. He does it the right way. And if he was, if I was going to have anybody touch Frostbite besides myself, and you guys know that I work on my truck pretty much by myself, or my buddy Ryan helps me out, or my son helps me out, if anybody was going to lay hands on my truck, it would be Chris. And uh, I'm sure one day he probably will. Talk about Chris a little bit. Talk about his shop. Uh, what he can do to help you out with cam installs and all sorts of stuff. We'll talk about his car for a second. But uh, Chris, HP Racing, Plymouth Satellite. Let's talk about the car a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's a 73 Plymouth Satellite. It's got a 6.2 liter uh, Gen 3 Hemi. It's a Hellcat short block with all the 6.4 top end on it. Uh, got a F1 A-94 Pro Charger, uh, sheet metal intake, and uh, hooked up to a five-speed. That's that's pretty much it. So we got a stick shift car, Hellcat motor, big Pro Charger. Um, I remember talking to him at Mo Party. Uh, we actually seen each other up at Mo Party last year. We'll both be at Mo Party again this year. Um, so if you're coming to Mo Party, you can meet both of us. You can see the car. Uh, you can talk to him, but. I believe you had this car all the way back in high school or college or something you said? Yep, I uh, had the, got the car when I was 12 years old. Um, actually bought it from my dad that bought it from somebody else. That's how I acquired it. Um, worked on it till I was 16, had a small block in it, drove it back and forth to school, put a big block in it, raced it, blew that one up, put another big block in it, drove it back and forth to college and blew that block up and I said, you know what? It's time to tear it down. I've been wanting to do this shop my whole life. I've been around right. this my whole life. And uh, let's make this my business card. I'm gonna try to get this thing out here, take it down the track, show people, hey, this is what I can do, and uh, drive it to town and back, you know. Right. You know, if you wanna drive through, drive through somewhere, you can. Um, very, very streetable car. Yes. Very streetable car. Get in, the, get in this car, go down to Kroger, go down to the Sonic, go hang out. It's a very streetable car. I've seen it around a lot. Uh, like he said, it's a straight up street car, race car, the whole nine. Yep. Um, that's where we're at now. Um, time wise, power level wise, we don't really know just yet. We've been working out some gremlins this year, but at Mo Party this year, we'll definitely be on the track. Right. I'm going to try to do a class with it. If not, then we'll just be doing testing to you. Oh, yeah. I remember when we was at Mo, Mo Party last year. You had the car there, you shown it in the Holly booth. That's right. And literally, you had just got it done like the night before, like, I mean, out of paint, like everything. Like, you had just threw it on the trailer and yep. brought it up there. And uh, definitely wasn't ready for hitting the track and everything yet, but he made it there, and the car's stellar. I don't know what else to say besides that thing's beautiful. As you've seen in the walk around, guys, I'm, I'm sure the car speaks for itself. It's nasty, it's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, you even painted this car, didn't you? I did not paint it. Oh, you didn't? Um, okay. I did everything to the car except paint it. Okay. Um, you did all the like the body work? All fabrication, all right. body work. Um, any kind of modifications you see done to like the bumpers and everything, I did. Okay. Um, I built the four link, the whole nine yards. I had a good friend that does paint on the side and he's the one painted, painted okay. it. Yep. Gotcha. I remember seeing all the pictures you were posting, like the, the progress of it, sanding and primer and all that stuff so right but yeah i mean it's it's went from a lot that's, oh yeah that's crazy but uh so as far as your shop that you're doing um you're on instagram 
You got a yes. Facebook page, yes. HP Racing. You can see his hat, HP Racing. Uh, what's the best way to contact you if you want to get some modifications done or anything like that? Um, best way to contact me is uh, through the Facebook page. Okay. Um, just send me a message there. Um, I believe my contact info is on there, like my cell phone number. If not, just send me a message and whatever, and we'll go from there. Now, as far as what he'll work on, obviously he specializes in Mopar stuff, third gen Hemi stuff, but not only that, he'll work on your Coyote Mustang. Yes. Um, he'll yep. work on a Camaro. Like he, he's not picky. He's going to work on a lot of other stuff. So if you have, you know, nitrous kits you right. wanted to put on. Uh, your your Camaro or your Fox Body Mustang or your Challenger, your Charger, or a hot rod, legitimately like this. Um, you know he's he's there to help. You know anything, anything. Just contact him and uh, he'll hook you up as best as he can. And I, like I said, if I was gonna have anybody touch Frostbite and put a wrench on it besides myself, it would be Chris. And uh, as you guys know and have followed the channel. I don't think this truck's ever been in any shop besides John Cope's shop. Um, John Cope would be the first person that's literally worked on this truck besides myself. So, and that's just how I am, but this guy would be one person I could definitely tell you, you could take your car, take your truck to him for a cam swap or anything like that, and I guarantee you, he's gonna do you right. He's gonna do you good on the price, he's gonna make sure it works when it leaves, I'm sure. Yes. And. Uh, like I said, stand-up guy. He's not out here to hurt anybody or take advantage of anybody. You're going to get a stellar deal. So just contact him and uh, work out a time. You can drop your car off with him or whatever, and he'll get you hooked up. Yep, uh, just as he was saying, nothing will leave this shop half done. If it's not right, if I question it in any way, it will be took care of. So that's, that's where I stand out among a lot of them. Right, and that's the... That's the best way, that's the only way to do it. And again, like some of our background where what we do for actual jobs right now for our trade, that's kind of what we're taught along the way. You know, it's not worth having comebacks. It's not worth doing it twice. And uh, it just makes no sense. So might as well do it right the first time. Don't rush it, don't be in a hurry. Just do it right, that's all that matters. That's right. And again, like I said, I fully trust Chris with anything. And I give you guys my word that he could hook you up with a cam install, bolt-ons, suspension stuff, whatever, nitrous kits, give him a call, he'll hook you up. All right, guys, we're going to talk about Chris's Plymouth satellite real quick. He's going to go over pretty much a little bit of the car um, from front to back and uh, let you guys check out what he's done. Again, he's he's turned the wrench on this car pretty much everywhere himself. This is what HP Racing's about. And, uh, well, let's check it out. Let the car do the talking. Uh, it's a... Uh frostbite intercooler uh, from Holly which works very well um, very budget friendly and they're awesome uh, this is a universal series you can pretty much put it in anything um, all the intercooler piping I did myself uh, it's got TTI headers on it and uh, that's pretty much it up here we got race star wheels um, we got wheel wood uh, 14 inch rotors front and rear I got six piston calipers in the front four piston in the rear and um, the interior is from a 2016 uh, Dodge Challenger. The, I just molded the factory dash to work with the factory Challenger dash so it would fit in the car. Um, I got a Holly display and Holly EFI gauges. Um, right, let me shoot in there real quick. I mean, all in all, the dash looks like it was made to the car. That's for sure. It turned out pretty good. <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, the rear panel back here in the back where the rear seat used to be, I made that. Um, underneath the panel is stuff for the rear suspension. I had to come up in the floor pan. So instead of altering all of that to kind of keep the flow of the original themed 73 body style, I just put a panel back there to just cover it and, you know, make it look good. Um, same back here, just race star wheels, and um, that's pretty much it. So obviously, we already determined that you'll pretty much work on 
a lot of cars, different makes and models, do lots of different kind of modifications like cams, supercharger installs. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about having their Torque Storm supercharger installed. You said you definitely right. install any kind of supercharger, correct? Right. Say they have their own tuner, um, you know, like say Jay Green or Dr. Differential and Speed Shop, uh, Hemi Fever. You know, there's tons and tons of remote tuners out there. Um, now, say this individual is already working with a tuner. Um, you have no issues with working with their tuner as far as getting their vehicle tuned and modifications on their car, correct? Right. Yep. Yep. No issues there. Okay. I personally have a tuner that does all my stuff, but there's no issue there. Okay. Good to know. That's usually a question that gets brought up a lot. And some, some shops won't work on your stuff unless they tune it or have their people tune it. So... Uh, sometimes that's a big question to know. Um, usually it's not a big deal. It's right. just, you know, every shop has their own preference. So that's good to know that that's not an issue with you. So there you go, guys. HP Racing. Chris's nasty, awesome Plymouth Satellite. Frostbite over here. No comparison to the satellite. I just, it's not even close. It's um, a nice truck, though. <laughs> Very nice truck. Hey, at least you said it's a nice truck. But uh, that's it, guys. So pretty much i just wanted to introduce you to someone i've known for a while that is really good with tools knows what he's doing and again i get so many messages with people trying to get me to work on their car or do cam swaps and stuff like that and again guys i would love to do it and i have done some but i just don't have the time as some of you guys know that follow the channel pretty good i, I actually just opened up my own repair shop uh, a small engine repair shop I still work full time on top of that and I'm doing a full time YouTube channel on top of that and there's just no time for it. There's just zero time for it. There's hardly time for Frostbite to put on all the cool mods that we get and uh, try to make the truck faster. But we're juggling it and we're making it happen. And that's why I'm bringing Chris into the channel a little bit. Um, he is that guy. If you have a project uh, that you're trying to get built if you have a daily driver that you're trying to just, you know, put a nice choppy cam in it, you're trying to get some bolt-ons, nitrous kits, superchargers, just anything. Again, I would let him work on my truck any day. I trust him fully. He's a good guy. All I can say is give him a shout, and he's more than happy to help you out with your project. Again, Mopar stuff, Mustang stuff, Camaro stuff, whatever. His specialty is Mopar stuff, obviously. But he'll work on everything he's got a lift in the shop um, so he can take on lots and lots of different projects guys but we're gonna wrap it up and uh chris nice car man that's Thank all you. i can say nice car nice shop and uh we'll see you at mo party heck yeah